It may seem that there is not a problem with water in Bangladesh, or rather, that during the rainy season, there are problems with floods. It is not so. Groundwater levels in Dhaka are decreasing at an alarming rate. The rate of the water level drop in Dhaka is about two and a half meters per year in recent years, which was about one meter per year during the late 1990s. At the moment, the water level is 60 to 90 meters, and in some cases, even 150 meters deep to raise the groundwater, and in some special situations, even 300 meters. According to data collected by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization in 2007, water consumption was 60 to 80 cubic meters per ton of processed rawhides. It is at least two times more than average consumption. The project Reduction of Environmental Threats also focused on this issue. The very first important step was installation of water meters to measure and control actual water consumption. At the same time, measures were taken to reduce unnecessary losses due to problems with fittings, pipes, and other equipment. After this first step, consumption was reduced in selected units by more than 20 percent. An additional step was the introduction of batch washing instead of rinsing washing or open valve washing. Rinsing washing is washing with open valves and continuous inlet and outlet of water for several minutes. In batch washing, a drum is filled with water and after adding the necessary amount of water, the inlet is closed. After washing with closed doors, the float is drained. Batch washing with the same efficiency for removal of chemicals from processed materials needs less than 50% of the water used for open valve or rinsing washing. An automatic water mixing system is an additional possibility to reduce water consumption. Tanneries actively participating on the project activities were able to reduce water consumption by approximately 50 percent. Most of the tanneries have current consumption around 30 to 35 cubic meters per ton of processed rawhides. This joint effort between industry and the project partners, as supported by the European Union, gives hope that water resources will be available for future generations. The aim of this project is to convert hides into exportable products without jeopardizing the environment and by improving working conditions. Therefore, it also contributes to poverty reduction. The project is co-funded by the European Union and implemented by the project partners 